हेलो ऑल और थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आई एम कृष्णा के सर्टिफाइड साइट फॉर डेवलपर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल सोलर एज अ विंडो सर्विस सोलर एज मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो दैट इज अ सर्च इंजन सर्च इंडेक्सिंग वी यूज फॉर सर्चिंग दी आइटम्स और कंटेंट्स विद इन अ साइट कोर और एनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म so specifically in this video i will share my thoughts of installing solar as a window service which we are use going to use in our site course installation so gone are the days uh, when we were running solar manually with site core experience platform 9 and our company has mandated to run solar as a window service but don't worry it's very easy you just have to follow the few steps which uh, we are going to see in our today's session so the prerequisite for installing solar as a window service is that you should have a java jre and a java sdk installed on your machine so if i try to show you you will get it somewhere in the program files and uh, java so जेडीके एंड जे आर ई बोथ आर इंस्टॉल्ड ऑल्सो यू नीड टू चेक द एनवायरमेंट वेरेबल्स सो इन एनवायरमेंट वेरेबल्स वी हैव अ जावा होम इफ दिस इज नॉट शोइंग अप इन योर सिस्टम यू कैन गो एड अ न्यू एड समथिंग एज जावा होम एंड कीप द पाथ एंड गिव द पाथ ऑफ जावा एस टी के राइट see uh okay so we are going to install site core 10.2 and uh, if we see this site core support portal and uh, its compatibility with different modules so site core 10.2 will be compatible with solar 8.8.2 so let's see if we can download it so how uh, we from this table we can figure it out that solar uh, 8.8.2 is compatible with site core xp 10.2 so you can basically do a google search where you can write solar download and you will redirect it to this particular screen uh, so this will show you that solar as on today's date solar 9.0 is the latest version but we need solar 8.8.2 so to get that you have to go to the past version at this section of the website and you have to look for the pre previous releases if you go here this will list down all the solar uh, versions which have been released so you need to look for solar 8.8.2 and here we are able to find it and you just need to click on solar 8.8.2 j5 so this download will start you also need something called as nssm so when you do a google search you will get directed to nssm website is called non sucking service manager and it's very useful we are going to see its uses in our video on the further so when you click on this one you will be redirected to this page Okay. Click on download. Okay. Yeah. So where you can download the any latest version. So I have downloaded NSSM and Solar. All right. So let's see what is the next step to install Solar as a Windows service. So we need to extract this Solar file. So we'll extract it. Where I will extract. I have created a project folder under C drive. Uh, okay. So this has been extracted. Now I also need to extract NSSM, which I had downloaded previously. So I will download this one to my C drive. 
survey. So I do have NSSM and uh, solar extractor. Yeah, all right. So let's open command in enemy move. Now if you see on um, NSSM we need to go to this part This part okay so, Open this one and uh, write something like and uh, an SSM pull this one install solar so now what is the name of the solar service you want to keep we have to mention it here so I am writing something like um, solar JSS okay so this will be the name of that will be used as a solar window service Let's see works. okay yeah so we have got a further nssm screen so here you need to give the solar command file path so if we go here Mm, with good projects solar and then then and this is the solar command this is the solar command so we need to give this path okay you can select this path This is the solar command. Once you click on it, open uh, this startup directory text box will be automatically filled. Now you have to provide the argument. In argument is the port number that uh, the solar will be using to run as a service. So where the command is start up. P. So I want it to run on double eight, double eight. Okay. So I will install this as a service. This has been installed. Now the next step is that there is a solar SSL file. Okay. So once it's done, um, you need to copy a solar SSL file, which I will share in the description. If you open this one. See, okay, so there are some settings. This will help us in running solar uh, as a window service. So, this is the script. Run this script. We have to use our, our Windows Power Cell. Uh, so, I open this one in admin mode. to this particular path and add to run this one as solar SSI and so all these commands are there in the description and here I have to now point out the solar path so 
Roll. So we have seen uh, that there are four commands that has been generated so we need to copy this command and we will go to our solar install folder so I have kept my solar here so I have to go to then solar.in command I have to edit this one to go at the very last and I need to add this to save okay. okay so we'll go to windows service services solar jss demo this one this is our service name and this is running okay see if we are able to browse solar https uh, localhost wait wait plus solar yes so our solar is up and running now we can use this service in our site core installations so i prefer installing solar as a service before installing the site core vanilla file uh, because most of the time i have seen that you know this solar installation gives a lots of issue but the steps i have uh, discussed here that you need at least this prerequisite uh, a java jre and a java sdk installed on your machine and if you follow all the steps that i have mentioned in this video probably you will not run through any of the issues so hope you have liked this video you have liked this video then please follow the other videos also which are coming in series thank you for watching and thank you for giving your time uh, to this video uh, i really appreciate it thank you